the message is what is the good news? The good news is that Jesus Christ came to pay for our calamity. The first Adam was sinless, committed sin, and those all humanity, all mankind, are in sinful nature. Jesus, the second Adam, was sinless and came to pay the priority for all. And those who accept him, claim as their best Lord and Savior, who is very with him in his kingdom. The good news was that man had an opportunity to be redeemed. And that's not saved from eternal punishment. The good news is that God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to send the world through him. In John chapter 3, verse 17, you see man cannot save himself, but through the love and mercy, God giving man another opportunity each of us has been tempted for the very first day we are born in order for jesus to be tempted you will live by the spirit in the wilderness to be tempted by satan although jesus was god you also fool man just like us jesus gave us instructions on how to overcome temptation because he knew we'll be tempted the goal that we do not have to fall for the temptation played before us by Satan. We can remove Satan with the word of God the same way Jesus removed me. God was so so powerful when Jesus spoke by Jesus and it's so powerful coming out from your mouth or my mouth. Last the good news, just Christ can preach it. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel in March 1, verse 15. Jesus was offering salvation to the poor and to those who are rumbling and those whose spirit were broken and those who thought there was no hope. Jesus offered us the same salvation today. He said, Come to me, all you who are well and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon me and lay from me. For I am gentle and hope in your heart. And you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my body is light. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. Jesus is the good news who can to free us from our cares, bodies, and heart. He can heal our body, mind, and soul. He can give us peace in our heart and meaning to our life. He is the good news that gives mankind opportunity to be redeemed, to be saved, and to spend eternity in his kingdom. In conclusion, it is the good news for us that the capital left the shop in Nazareth to carry his father's will. It is the good news for us that Jesus Christ is the second Adam. It is the good news to know that we can come into a relationship with our Lord and Savior. Amen. It is the good news that we ought to know that we can do not depend that Jesus Christ went for us. We don't have to go to the cross because Jesus Christ has this one for us. Over 2,000 years ago. It is good to know that for God so Lord the word that He gave us to the His Son, that whosoever is in should not perish but have everlasting life. It's good for us to know that when we have been tempted, when all of God to fight in every way. In conclusion, do you know Jesus personally as some of the best Savior? If you don't know Him, you can know Him today by simply making this prayer and inviting it to your heart. Come into my life, Jesus. Come into my life, Jesus. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. I believe that you died and rose again on the third day. I believe that you died again and rose again on the third day. To save me. To save me. Today I invite you. Today I invite you. To be my Lord and personal Savior. To be my Lord and my personal Savior. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah.